Welcome back everyone. This is the first time in a long time that I'm going to be talking about the future of any games or anything like that. I did talk about I think Spyro the Dragon a couple years ago but I've been playing GTA 5 for a little bit of time and I'm really excited for GTA 6 and I'm just saying that just to make you guys hyped up a little bit more. But this is potentially, now shout out to Games Radar, but this is potentially what GTA 6 could potentially be bringing and the setup place time and all that stuff. Now again, this isn't necessarily like a guaranteed, but based off rumors, based off a lot of people what they're saying, this is potentially what this next generation of games for the PlayStation 5, for the Xbox Series X and all those ones, this is what this game could come out with. And potentially this has actually been in development since 2012, which is pretty crazy. But again, now the thing is, is that this is probably focused in on two different places. It's focused in on both Vice City and another location called Rio de Janeiro or whatever it is. And that's going to be pretty cool. I mean, we're going to have two different locations now. Now, they're kind of saying that this is also kind of more taking place in like a Liberty City type of place. So it's going to be like open world, just like how GTA 5 is with mountains and all that stuff. Now, it's going to be based off a lot of what Red Dead Redemption 2 and the type of technologies they put in that. So it's going to be kind of in that same place. But this is the thing that threw me off the most. A lot of the Grand Theft Autos that have came out pretty recently, they've been kind of, you know, focused in on those specific timelines. And with this specific game, it's said to be set in the 1970s or 1980s. And I think that's a pretty impressive thing. I mean, like I said, for as long as I can remember, a lot of these games have been focused in on the specific places that they've, you know, been released at. So like whenever like 2011, that's kind of like what GTA 5 was going for. I could be totally wrong, but that was one thing that really threw me off there, which is very, very interesting. Now, there's a couple different players you can play as, just like how in GTA 5, you can pick one person or the other person. That same type of thing is going to be going with GTA GTA 6. There will also be apparently a big prison that will take place in this specific game as well. So again, that's another huge area where this thing is going to be really awesome and I cannot wait to see this. Now typically with a lot of these games, weather, especially GTA 5, weather never really took a huge toll on the games. Usually if it's raining, you know, little textures of the games and stuff would change, but there wouldn't really be anything super crazy with this specific, you know, weather type of time frame with GTA 5 or GTA 4 or whatever. But within GTA 6, weather is actually going to take a bigger focus and what this means basically is, is like hurricanes, floods, maybe even earthquakes, tornadoes. These type of things will actually end up taking a big toll on the game and really affect your gameplay and certain missions and all that stuff. So that's another really big thing you're going to have to take care of and I can just imagine the amount of effects and the, just how much better the game is going to look just with the weather itself. So that's going to be really cool. Now they also mentioned that buildings will change over time and vehicles will change over time too. So I'm not really too what they're going to go for that but that's going to be very interesting and they also say that this has pretty much heavily been inspired by narcos which which is a show on netflix which is very interesting now the good news is is that right now gta 6 is their main focus so it's not like they're going to try to focus on red dead redemption 3 or any other game like that besides bully 2 they're really trying to focus in on gta 6 and get this out as soon as possible now there hasn't been any set time frame or anything about the release date so as of right now we don't know 100 for a fact but if i could say and if i could be completely honest i would probably end up saying that more times than not we may actually end up seeing some sort of announcement probably next year of some time because gta 5 has been out for so long and by the time next next year i would say probably around christmas time i'm not going to say it's been released christmas time but because so many people will get their hands on the next generation of consoles it really just makes sense that somebody's going to say something like you know there may be a leak there may be something but this is pretty much all we know as of right now. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.